And the hottest bands of the last shit post were Eric with a last name my first grade education won't let me pronounce, but you still had a hot band, so you get it. Papa Battles, Bumbaloni, Ravioli, and Shadow Beowulf for having the hottest bant of the last ship post. If you want to see your bant or the ghost of William Howard Taft's bant featured in the next ship post, leave it in the comments down below. You boys know the drill. You're smart. Also, thank you for over 300 subs. You boys are the best. Oakley Doakley, let's start this fucking ship post. Don't let your kids what's it! Boys, what's going on? It's the dark side of the internet's favorite shit, Lord Oslo, and we're dropping into the fucking epicenter of the dark side of the internet. Starting with the tweets I missed after the whole pretending to be sick after the bankruptcy papers drop. Why did I have to get sick during the coronavirus scare? I'm sure I'll sleep well tonight. Oh no, I was right. Cat gave Phil the bat soup, told him it was potato soup. The next day. We're gonna have people coming by and he's trolling constantly. They think it's funny. No, Phil, this is pretty fucking funny. The fact that Mr. YouTube Gamer Let's Play Man, who made mad cash for a couple years, is now filing for bankruptcy because he's too stupid to save his money is pretty fucking funny. Just to, to kick you when you're down and make funny, oh, you're, you're going bankrupt and ha ha ha. So it's okay for you to kick people when they're down, but not when you're down. Okay, Phil. Oh, look at this. Phil perjury and shit. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's not even... What are you talking about? I didn't go in front of a court. Oh no, Phil may have committed perjury. <laughs> that is, uh, not good. We'll just have to see what happens in court. This is the initial filing. It's just stupidity. It's absolutely stupidity. Okay. Um, and it's just hilarious to, to, to hear it and see it. But the thing is, you'd say it's hilarious, except now it's going to negatively affect my streams probably for, for months, if not longer. Months, Dark? Try fucking years, bud. And if you're going to use this as a crutch to beg on, then people are going to make fun of you for it. We know people are just going to come in here and troll over stupid shit, even though, like, I talked about this two weeks ago. And two weeks ago, you said you weren't going to talk about it anymore, and here you fucking are talking about it. I fucking called that you get baited during a pre-stream, Dark. You just can't help yourself. You fucking love talking about the bankruptcy. It's something new. Something you can use to get even more sympathy shekels. It's very exciting. So I guess people didn't believe me then or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Like, you didn't believe that this was coming, even though I told you up front this was coming, right? Um, so that's it. All right, so I'll leave it at this, and then we'll move on to the positive stuff, and we'll move on to the stuff we want to talk about on a stream, which hilarious, this will be hilarious because the viewership will dip dramatically now because all the drama shitheads are going to be gone in a minute. Um, I didn't lie to you guys about anything. Doubt. Financially, I've been in trouble for years. Trust us, we know, bud. That and trolls hurting your feelings. It's all you fucking talk about. Um, it just kept snowballing. Every time I thought I was going to find a way out, it just got worse because of something else. Um, there's at this point, it got to the point where it didn't matter what I said or did or, or acted. No matter what I did, it wasn't getting better. There was no way to fix it. So <clears throat> the only way to get myself out of the situation is bankruptcy. That's why I'm doing it because I'm a public figure. People are all over every little aspect of doing it. Because of the fact that, um... Because you made a stupid amount of money and you've been shady about where that money's gone for years. And when they found out you spent a lot of your money buying and doing stupid shit, they've wanted to keep a closer eye on where all your money goes. Kind of set yourself up for this one, Dave. Because of the fact that, basically, they're shitheads up in my business. You know, they want to tear apart. They want to believe that I'm something kind of, I'm some kind of a liar. You know, they want to believe, uh that I'm some kind of a, a dishonest person um, and that I am, you know, uh, basically some kind of a scumbag who's been either, I don't know, hoarding money. I don't even know. I have no idea at this point because obviously what the bankruptcy petition proves is that I have no money. Like I've been saying all along. If DSP was hoarding money, I don't think the word bankruptcy would be in his vocabulary. No matter what I make, it just immediately gets pissed away to something else, you know? So I don't understand why people would think that I'm a liar but I guess they're that dumb is that they just don't want to believe anything. They just want to continuously believe that I'm some kind of a liar. Um, 
It is what it is. Okay. So that's the situation. The reason that people are going crazy is because the bankruptcy filing went public and everyone saw it. I'll give that a six out of 10 snort. Regardless, it's so fucking disgusting. Okay. And when they see it, they go nuts. Absolutely. They go, oh my God, you know, look at this. Uh, let's call out all of Phil's shortcomings and all his problems, which of course you knew was going to happen because that's all they do. Phil Brunel, I promise right now, if you do something good, I will make a video or at least talk about it in a shit post. Here's the thing. I don't think you'll do anything good though, Phil, because you're dark side Phil. Irredeemable shitbag extraordinaire. They would never look at themselves. They only look at, at me to make fun of me. Um, and of course they're going to say, oh, look at all these discrepancies we found in reality. It's not a big deal. Wait, hold on a second. Having discrepancies on your bankruptcy papers is no big deal. Again, no expert here, but I think if you want to put out bankruptcy papers, you might want to put them out right the first time. So there's no need for people like me to go through and go, ha ha. For them to understand, like I said, this is the initial filing. These are things that will get fixed, especially if there's little stupid things on there that were either omitted or completely, you know, misclassified. That's why, you know, you get fixed, you get it filed so that it gets into the system. It's going to get audited and fixed. And then you, you have your actual, you know, situation later on where you go, you know, you, you, you say, okay, yes, all this information is 100% accurate now and blah, blah, blah. Okay. <clears throat> it's a little concerning to me that instead of Phil using actual legal jargon, he's just using blah, blah, blah. Almost like he didn't pay attention during his initial filings or any meetings he's had with his lawyers. And if that's the case, then, uh, big yikes. So, so that's the situation. And that's it. That's all I'm talking about. All right. That's all I'm talking about. I'm done with it. Don't even bother saying it, Dark. You'll get baited to talk about it more because people want to talk about it with you or people want to listen to you talk about it. So they can all point and laugh and see where DSP got himself. A wife, a cat, a dollhouse, and a fuck ton of credit card debt. There's nothing else to say. There won't be anything else to say. You know, anything else that's going to happen with this will go be beyond, behind the scenes. Okay. Hard to believe. Um, it has nothing to do with the content on my gameplay streams at all. Uh, and I'm not going to bother <clears throat> wasting time on it. Okay. Because there's no point. <laughs> All right, there's absolutely no point in discussing it further because number one, it's not anyone's business anyway. Number two, these are gameplay streams. These are not, oh, my stream of my personal la dirty laundry that's gonna be aired publicly, okay? <clears throat> okay, fair enough. Okay. All right, guys. Oakley Doakley, boys. Now that the bankruptcy talk is over with, he can go back to faking being sick. Let's move on, because I feel like shit. I really do, man. <sighs> uh, uh, I'm sick. Boo, you whore. I never failed the mission. <sighs> I just, you know, like everything is feeling bad. I got congestion in my head. My throat is swollen. I'm no doctor or anything, but DSP's throat sounds just fine. If it was really swollen, it would have been really hard for him to talk. But his bullshitting sounds just fine to me. Luckily, my throat isn't having too much pain, but it is swollen. Um, you know, I'm probably going to be coughing today. Okay, it's just another gross thing for you to do on stream. Just add it to the list of burping, snorting, talking about shit and dicks, and shoving things up people's ass. You know, some real gross shit. I can do about it. I'm going to do my best to get through today. I'm probably going to be talking much light, lighter than I usually would today because of everything going on, you know, my, my health here. Are you fucking kidding me, Dark Stephil? You want us to feel sorry for you with your little sore throat and your coofing. Meanwhile, in fucking China. Don't worry, Phil. I'm going to get the World Health Organization involved, maybe a couple C and D list celebrities, and we're going to find a cure for your fake ass bitch ass disease. Someday, somehow, we will find a cure. Um, you know. So, hopefully, hopefully, 
things go okay. All right, I hope so. I don't know, DSP. It's kind of hard to be faithful between this, that, and all of those. All right. All right, guys. So let's let's move on from this nonsense. We've now talked about it for like 25 minutes. Like I said, I knew I was going to have to address it. It's stupidity. It's delaying this. what you're here for, okay? What the fuck do you think people are here for, Phil? It's not to watch and interact with a guy pushing 40 while playing video games he fucking hates. So it's uh, gotta be something else, like uh, laughing at your dumbass. Because no matter how hard you try, which is not much, you always end up losing or taking a couple steps back and you spurg the fuck out because of it, and it's hilarious. And he just kept pretending to be sick, or at least putting on the shittiest, like, sick acting I've ever seen. Hey. I know that I sound different, I sound congested today, I am congested. Holy shit, he really wants us to feel sorry for him for having the fucking sniffles. As if we're all gonna fucking care that he has a bit of a cold. Motherfucker, everyone gets a cold. It sucks, you just gotta deal with it, it could be worse. Um, I am on decongestants, although decongestants that expired in the middle of last year. Why the hell are you using expired medication, Phil? That seems very stupid. Let me guess, is it because we're too fucking poor? Because afford to buy any new ones hooray i was right i know the answer was pretty easy but i still feel good that i was right back to the more important thing the story you're currently speaking of seems illegitimate on you being too poor to buy medicine <laughs> they're too fucking expensive you could have gone to cvs got the generic shit and been just fine you know what you also could have done phil since your wife works at fred meyers or kroger's you could ask her if they sell a bottle of cough syrup or some medicine that you might need she may even get it at a discount save you a little bit of money phil but no dsp has to be the biggest fucking man baby on the internet drinking the most likely expired cough syrup Possibly doing more harm than good in the process. Moral of the story, Phil, this was a fucking stupid move that I don't even expect a teenager to do. And this is more proof that you're kind of sort of a fucking dumbass. Just go to CVS, get the generic brand, that's all you need. <clears throat> so it is what it is, I guess. Um, still suffering through this cold. Fucking king of suffering over here, am I right, boys? Jesus Christ. You have a sore fucking throat filled with possibly the sniffles. You're not gonna fucking die. And he really milked this being sick thing. Hope everybody had a great day. My head was completely congested, but other than that, it was pretty good. See you in the morning for a full day of streaming goodness. And you are nowhere cool enough to rock a Steve Irwin gif on your Twitter. Get that shit off your fucking timeline, you silly goose. You gotta earn that, and you haven't earned fucking shit. The Paradox at 100 bit and I'm good to feel today, how are you? I'm, I'm still sobering from this damn cold. <coughs> As you can hear. I can see you're trying to act sick to get sympathy points. And it seems to be working because $78 in tips. It's very annoying, um, but it is what it is. Thank you for asking. That thank you for asking didn't sound genuine. It actually sounded a little bit resentful, Dave. You want to try that again? Try not to sound like a giant fucking dick in the process? It's looking like the future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. So something completely unexpected has blindsided me, and now I need to raise a significant amount of funds by the end of the month. I'll explain tomorrow. Which one of these would you like to see in a special fundraising marathon? Please vote and thanks. And the games we have are Mass Effect 2 Renegade Run, a special Dark Souls run, a retro game he hasn't played before, and if you think all those choices are shitty, which they are, you can tweet at him with your idea. And a special Dark Souls run was the victor, no shock there. Can't wait for another fucking Dark Souls run starring dipshit Phil. This is gonna be like run number four, five, six. I lost fucking track. There's been so many Dark Souls runs. As I think harder and formulate an idea for the upcoming tip fundraising stream, I'm thinking to split it between things have requested for a while. Starting up a new MGS run, trying Fortnite again, and a gimmicky Dark Souls 1 slash 2 run. Or maybe Ninja Gaiden Black? Hmm. All those ideas sound pretty fucking horrible, Dark. Not to mention how desperate you sound, Phil, between going back to Fortnite and Metal Gear. Well, you gotta think of something fast, Phil. You can't just sit here playing the thinking game on Twitter. You're in a big boy trouble, so it's time to move big boy quick. You know, Phil, that one jump ahead of the breadline, one swing ahead of the sword? Fuck you, Jake. How about that? Fuck you. Idiot. It's not how it works. That's an initial filing. 
and if anything is found to uh, not be correct, it can be fixed. But Phil, don't you think it would look better if you didn't have to fix anything? You submitted it 100% right the first time. People on the internet would laugh at you less and your lawyer would probably think you were half competent. Um, in addition to that, um, for what I'm to understand, a lot of the stuff that people were calling out as discrepancies are not discrepancies. It's just that they didn't read the whole fucking report or didn't understand it. Oh, Phil, stop fucking acting like your bankruptcy papers is House of Leaves. I mean, between not having your PayPal account on there and all the fucking credit cards, plus the whole not having a business but yet having business expenses. Moral of the story, there's going to be a few things maybe you and your lawyer want to sit down and go through. Um, <clears throat> I already talked to my... Uh, bankruptcy attorney about it and uh, they were like no it's like everything there is correct you know maybe there's one or two things that we're gonna do addendums to or we'll update um, be skeptical but for the most part it's all correct now where have I heard that before I, I did nothing wrong I did everything correct there's nothing problem that don't listen to anyone idiot who's saying anything about legal ramifications of it they're complete morons they don't know what the fuck they're talking about Hey now, that's a pretty good use of pignosis there, Dave. This is not like you went in front of a court and you swore on a Bible and then you said, yes, everything there was 100% true. This is the initial filing that's going to change over time and it's fine. Um, but it just it's hilarious to me, to all these idiots <clears throat> on the internet who say stupid shit like that to cause drama. Like literally not a single person ever in the history of filing for bankruptcy has filed a bankruptcy filing like this and gone to jail ever. Never. I'm no legal expert, never claimed to be, so I fucking googled one. So big ups to the first lawyer I googled, Jeffrey B. Kelly. According to his site, the only way you're gonna go to jail is if you're not talking to your bankruptcy attorney and you're shady behind the scenes. And we know how great DSP is with his communication and his upfront and honesty. Come on, look at this guy. He's the bestest at being the most upfront and honest dude on the internet. Just look at him. So you could have literally put everything false on it and there's no ramification. <laughs> People are that stupid. I wouldn't be fucking shocked if that's what you did, Phil. Um, so you idiots believe whatever you want if you actually believe that, okay? Seriously, if you believe that a bankruptcy attorney, who this is their job, is going to risk going to jail themselves for filing false information, right? You're an idiot. I love this little narrative Phil has constructed in his head where he thinks him and his lawyer are like some bad boys to ride or die. DSP, this lawyer does a fuck ton of bankruptcy cases. He does not give a fuck about you in the slightest. You think they're your guardian angels, but to them, you're just another case. Point is, the moment you start fucking up and getting shady, they're gonna probably pull out and be like, we're done. Or put less effort into your legal representation. Then again, I'm no expert. But my advice, don't be shady to your lawyer, Dark. Be truthful. And people are just that fucking dumb. Mind you, boys, this is coming from the rocket scientist with 10 plus credit cards. And almost a half a million dollars in debt. To believe anything for drama purposes and to create a drama story for YouTube clicks. Which is all it fucking is. Idiots who are doing that for YouTube attention and make money. That's it. There's no truth to anything they're saying. They're complete idiots. So there's no truth to any of this, Phil. There's no truth to the foreclosure, to the bankruptcy, having gout, having depression, begging for your man baby audience to give you video games. All that's fake, Phil. Never fucking happened. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, so don't worry about it. It's gonna, you know, everything's gonna be fine. You could keep telling yourself it's gonna be fine, DSP, but uh, I don't think so, bud. Things are gonna get even bleaker on the dark side of the internet real fucking quick. Um, I just knew there was going to be controversy and drama as soon as it went public because you knew people were gonna be idiots. How is looking through a public document being an idiot, Dark? Riddle me fucking that, Dave, because people have this cool thing called freedom of information. And microanalyze it and everything. You know, like, so we, oh, it doesn't say on there that you have a business in your name. Actually, it does. It's just not in the section that people are looking because they're idiots and they're looking in the wrong section. No, dude. People found it. Burnell Productions. I'm really looking forward to the all-black retelling of your life called The Nail Biter. But that's the thing because they're idiots. It's a bunch of fucking, you know, 20-year-olds who make YouTube videos. I'm a shithead in my early 20s. Do you think Phil's watching my videos, boys? You think once Phil gets done with his hard day of streaming, he uh, sits down with a glass of gin to watch a good old Oslo shit post? Boy, I hope so. It's about drama and crap to make money instead of knowing anything about anything they're fucking talking about. They actually act like they know anything. They don't. <laughs> Never claim to be an expert, just one that likes to point and laugh at your stupid ass. Okay, so that's that.
<clears throat> I, there's really no reason for me to bring it up or address it anymore because it's so stupid. But I just find it hilarious that, like, I knew up front nothing was wrong. But over the course of today, I actually went out of my way to contract my ba my bankruptcy lawyer to say, um, you know, is everything fine? Because here's some discrepancies that people have brought up. And they said, everything is completely fine. They're idiots. Don't listen to the dumb kids on the internet. So I'm just not going to anymore. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I find it highly difficult to place any trust in the more than likely fabricated alibi you have given me. Yo, Darks to Phil, you fucking said that last time, and here you are still fucking talking about it. Yeah, Phil's gonna keep talking about this. It gives him attention, it gives him sympathy shekels. It's a new piece of narrative to work into the pre-stream story spiel. He's not gonna stop talking about this until the bank takes away his fucking mic. Alright, so here we go. Here's something hilarious. I gotta read this because this just shows how dumb the, my critics are. Oh yeah, you're the fucking quantum physicist begging kids and man babies for money while you're filing for fucking bankruptcy. When I say my critics, they're not. They're really my detractors. Ready? Both shine a light on why you're a shitty content creator, so what's the fucking difference? So Enron tips me a dollar and says, If a company claims they're successful but goes bankrupt, how exactly are they a success? If your expenses out in the public, why do you lie to us saying you're successful knowing deep down you are not? Because I am. I have one more X to doubt in my bag of memes, and I don't want to waste it on this one, so we're just going to move the fuck on. If Phil wants to think he's a success, then uh, that is his choice. I don't think anyone's going to agree with that, Phil, but if you want to agree with it, fuck it. Because here's the difference, okay? I am personally filing for bankruptcy. My company is not bankrupt. Your company? You mean your Twitch streams and YouTube videos? You're going to tell us that success story, Phil? <clears throat> you know... Um, my business is fine. It's fine for now, Phil. Let's see how the next few years play out for you. Because I have a real bad feeling about the future to come, boys. That's the truth. The problem is I have accrued an insane amount of debt in my own personal name, not in the name of the business. But DSP, it's your fucking business, so it would go without saying. All of my debt started when I moved across the country, and... I financed not only the move, but furnished a house. We know, Dark. You moved across the country. You bought a Barbie dream house. You furnished it with all the accessories your heart could have ever fucking wanted. And all that was really fucking cool before you filed for bankruptcy. Now I reckon you're probably feeling a little stupid. Feels bad, man. And um, amongst other things that I had to spend on during that one year period, and I assumed I was going to continue to make the amount of money that I did. And there's nothing wrong with shooting for the stars, going for your dreams, but you always want to have a plan B so you don't end up like DSP. Sadly, that didn't happen. You know, I accrued a ridiculous amount of debt and then immediately lost a ton of income for about two years because of trolls fucking with my YouTube channel, DSP Gaming. You can't blame everything on trolling from a couple years back, Phil. It's going to make you fucking weak. Weaker than you already look. And because of that, I couldn't pay it anymore. So what I had to do was borrow more money to pay it. Dude, instead of borrowing more money, you could have gone and gotten like a part-time job. Pay this to, you know, you know what I mean? I was juggling. I was transferring balances. <clears throat> I was racking up more debt to pay the other debt. And the problem with unsecured debt is that it racks up exponentially. So you racked up a fuck ton of debt to keep your quote-unquote business afloat. But then you turn around and say that business that you had to keep afloat is a success? Moral of the story, no matter what fucking happens, DSP is always going to think he's this underdog super chad alpha legend. Super success that did nothing fucking wrong. Instead of, oh, this is a loan that I can just pay down slowly, when, it, when a credit card is racking up interest, there's nothing you can do about it, okay? You know, you could always pay it off, dude. Paying off the debts was always an option. And that's what was going uh, on behind the scenes of everything. And I tried to tell you guys about it without giving you specifics. Always the shadiest way to put it, Phil. And it's hard to do to explain that to people. But yeah, uh, my company is not bankrupt. Okay, it's not bankrupt, but it's not fucking worth much. My business is not bankrupt. My business is doing well. It's profitable. Thought I could hold it in, boys, but I can't. Here we fucking go. When one considers all the available evidence, both evidence gathered through the course of the investigation and evidence presented now by your attitude and speaking tone, one is unable to come to a certain conclusion. However, one may find themselves leaning in a direction towards one conclusion or the other. Given the evidence, I find myself leaning towards the conclusion that perhaps you are not being truthful. 
Your business probably generates a couple fucking bucks at best. Please, let's stop overselling your shitty Twitch streams and your cringy YouTube videos, Dave. The problem is, all the profit gets sucked up by this insane amount of unsecured personal debt that I have. So your personal debt is affecting your quote-unquote successful business. Hmm. Really makes you think. And, <clears throat> and also, quite frankly, the condo in Connecticut that I could, have not been able to rent or get rid of. Um, so all that's going on, and any money that I make immediately gets sucked to creditors. So... I've been busting my ass for years. DSP, I don't want to come off mean, but you fucking idiot. Sitting on a couch, playing video games, and crying about trolls is not busting your ass. Working on an oil rig, coal mine, police, fucking anything is more busting your ass than DSP. Because when you sit on a love seat and play video games all day, you're not contributing to society. Right? putting out all these streams for you guys and actually making great money doing it and immediately all the money gets pissed away because I have to legally pay all these people. Nice try, Phil. People aren't going to feel sorry for you because you're bank. That's been the problem, okay? So that's the difference. You know, my company is not going bankrupt. I am. There's a big difference and a big <clears throat> um, uh, legal difference there. Okay, Phil, here's my fucking question. If you, the guy who's keeping your quote-unquote business afloat, goes completely bankrupt, i.e. runs out of money, how are you going to keep your business afloat? Is Kat going to prop that up with her Kroger cash? Because if there's nobody there to prop it up, Phil, it's going to die. Or it's going to be more dead than it already is now. But the thing is, you don't understand that. Because you don't understand the law, you don't understand how business works. Oh yeah, and you're some legal whiz kid yourself, Dave. Okay, you don't understand anything. All you do is you listen to a bunch of dumb shitheads on YouTube who make fun of me to make money. But you only bring up because you think you're entitled to that money in some backwards ass DSP logic. And have no actual knowledge of anything, how anything works. In fact, they probably can't even get their own lives in fucking order, but they have to realize that this is a gravy train for them to make fun of me, so they just make shit up constantly. Okay? <clears throat> so, my advice to you, wake the fuck up, stop being an idiot. Okay then. I mean, I'm doing alright, I got food in the fridge, I got a roof over my head, clothes on my back, a half decent gig, pretty cool hobby making fun of the biggest loser on the internet. Oh yeah, I'm not bankrupt in debt getting foreclosed on and married to a horse. He never fucking defends himself, what a goddamn pussy. You realize if you go in court, they're not gonna take the you're a pussy, you're an idiot, or fuck off approach, Dave. And you wonder why people make fun of you and call you a douchebag on the internet. Like, you guys seriously don't understand? Nice talk down to your audience, dickbag, Phil. The insanely negative impact on my entire life. Your entire life, Phil? Really? Did the trolls find a time machine and go back to your high school days and push you around? The trolling in 2015 had on me. You don't. Like, you, I, I know that I talk about it and people joke about it. Oh, he's just making it up. No, Phil, no one's saying that you made it up. The sad fact is that you bring it up 24-7 and it happened five fucking years ago. Half a decade ago. A long fucking time ago in the grand scheme of things. Or at least in internet time. Point is, DSP should not be still hung up on something that happened five years ago, especially some shitposty trolls on the internet. When my DSP gaming channel lost so much viewership and so much income in 2015, that's where all of this started. Holy shit, Dave, you act like this is your ground fucking zero. And if you really want to know what fucking ruined you, it was moving across the country. And then moving a horse across the country. Now, I take responsibility for racking up the debt. That's my fault. As you should, it's your fucking debt. But the fact that I had a big decline in my income for two years uh, because of that trolling activity... Um, that's what fucked me over, and that's why I'm in the situation I'm in. If you go in front of a judge, Dark, you can't fucking say that. They're gonna look at you and think you're fucking crazy. And because it just became a snowball effect from then. I had all these cards I was trying to pay down, and I couldn't do it anymore, because I didn't have the money for it. And that's the fault of guys making fun of you on the internet. Okay. So now you're going to minimum payments, and now of course, uh-oh, I can't pay this off before the interest hits, what do I do? Balance, tra oh, balance transfer time ran out. Now what do you do? Now you're fucked. Well, when you get yourself to that I'm fucked state, that's when you should have realized, oh, I should probably get a part-time job. And that's what happened to me is I got completely fucked with an insane amount of debt <clears throat> that I could not pay down. And I ended up having to take out loans 
and doing other things to keep stuff afloat for further and trying to keep making ends meet. And that's what ultimately fucking killed you, Phil. You took out debts to pay debts. On top of being a complete fucking idiot when it came to your cash. And just being flat out fucking irresponsible. All those are your fault, Phil. None of those are the trolls. That's on you, buddy boy. <sighs> this sucks. This sucks for you. The rest of us are having a great time. It's funny because I swear to God, since I announced, you know, I'm declaring bankruptcy, it seems like more people want money from me than ever. It's like, wait a minute, that's not how it works. Uh, that's exactly how it fucking works, Dark. If one scavenger starts picking at the corpse, then more are gonna come. Until the piggy is picked bone dry. I'm basically telling you I have no money. That's why I'm doing this. And now you want more money. <clears throat> you know? Um, shitty. But that's life, I guess. That is life for you and the shitty choices that have gotten you there. No one's fault but your own. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. So, you know, this all happens on my day off, of course, when I'm supposed to be relaxing and feeling better and having fun and unwinding, and instead all this shit has to hit me, this stress and fuck and fucking bullshit. Um, I was just what I wanted on my fucking day off, right? Um... <clears throat> hey DSP, fun fact, money doesn't have a concept of time. It doesn't fucking care if it's your day off, your birthday week, Christmas. When it is time to pay up, it is time to pay up. I mean, I'm, I'm not stupid. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! <laughs> I'm not stupid at all. I know that uh, relying on a professional versus a bunch of idiots who are reading a 50 page document and know nothing about the law um, and trying to microanalyze it to make me look like a villain. Villain, no. Mentally incompetent sleazeball, perhaps. I know who's in the right and who's in the wrong. I'm not dumb. Um, that's why I'm not freaking out about anything. <laughs> I'm, I know I'm, I'm good. You're good for now, Diaz people. Let's see what the coming months and years have for us. I got a bad feeling shit's gonna get real wacky for you, bud. And I'm calling it there, boys. Thank you for watching another one of my weird-ass shit posts. If you want to cyberbully me, you can do that on my Twitter. It's at BaseDoslo. Thank you again for watching. Be safe and make good choices.